The PRO Act, short for the Protecting the Right to Organize Act, aims to restore workers' ability to organize for better pay, benefits, workplace safety, and fairness on the job. Here are seven anti-union shenanigans that employers use now that the PRO Act will fix. Number one, retaliation. It is common for employers to retaliate against workers attempting to unionize. It's illegal, but the penalties and enforcement are so weak that retaliation is still rampant. Employers are charged with violating federal law in over 40% of union campaigns. The PRO Act finally imposes real penalties for retaliation. Number two, delaying elections. Employers can slow walk union elections so that when workers want to organize, it can take months to get an election. The PRO Act puts workers and the National Labor Relations Board, not employers, in charge of the timing of their union elections. Three, contract obstruction. Even after workers vote to unionize, an employer can drag out negotiations over the first contract for months or even years. The PRO Act creates a structured negotiation process to make sure workers and their employers can reach a timely agreement when workers first organize. Four, forcing anti-union indoctrination. Today, employers can force workers to attend meetings to indoctrinate them against joining a union. Workers who refuse to attend these so-called captive audience meetings can be disciplined or even fired for not attending. The PRO Act makes it illegal for employers to require workers to attend captive audience meetings. Five, right to work. Corporations have pushed state governments to pass so-called right to work laws in 27 states. These are laws specifically designed to hamstring unions by making it harder to collect dues or fees from workers who are covered by union contracts. The PRO Act overrides state right to work laws by allowing unions and employers to negotiate fair share arrangements where workers covered by a contract share the costs. Six, undermining strikes. Current law allows employers to permanently replace workers when they go on strike for better pay. The PRO Act makes it illegal for employers to permanently replace strikers. Seven, misclassification. Employers routinely misclassify their workers as independent contractors in order to block unionization and avoid having to comply with labor laws. The PRO Act adopts a set of employer guidelines to determine if workers are independent contractors or employees, ensuring that workers are not wrongly misclassified and denied their right to organize. This does not mean independent contractors and freelancers would no longer exist. The PRO Act would just prevent employers from unfairly trying to misclassify workers, keeping them from having a collective voice. Unions have been under attack for decades. A lot of the obstacle to workers being able to join together in union have been dirty tricks like these, thanks to loopholes, weak enforcement, and anti-worker rulings. The PRO Act is the most significant labor law overhaul since the New Deal. American workers need it now.